Welcome to my new blog series on developing an OCR Vision AI. In this series, we'll walk through the building an OCR Vision AI that's both powerful and efficient. Our OCR Vision AI will be capable of scanning and analyzing thousands of images and PDF documents, making it ideal for large-scale processing tasks. These documents and their content will be stored in a local database, all while running efficiently on local machines using 100% open source Gen AI technologies. In today's session, we are going to focus on laying the groundwork for our Vision AI systems. Now here is the plan. First, we are going to talk about high-level business requirements. What does the system need to achieve? Then we'll talk about user interface design, how the system is going to look like and how it's going to feel. And then we'll take on the user experience. How will it going to work for users? Then after we are going to talk about architecture and solution design. What it means is how will the, all the pieces are going to fit together? And finally, the technology stack. What tools and platform we are going to use? So what is today's focus? Today, we are not jumping into the coding just yet. Instead, we are going to focus on crafting a clear and structured solution design for our Vision AI system. Now, in the follow-up blocks and following posts, we are going to take it step by step diving into the development as we bring the systems to the life. Now, let's get started and set the found foundation. At this point, you might be wondering why to build an OCR Vision AI. Now, let's start with a simple example. Imagine you have an image you want to scan. Now, most of the smartphones nowadays, you can easily extract text from the images. Just take a picture. So we don't need to reinvent the wheel for basic tasks like this. But what in case if you have thousands of thousands of documents? Now, here is where things get interesting. If you're dealing with thousands of different types of images and documents, you definitely need an OCR engine-like system that can automate the entire process of reading all those files without a human intervention. So what is the next offer OCR? Now, once you OCR process the documents, then you need to, you have all this data which needs to be stored in a live database. This allows you to build generative AI technologies to analyze the data and take it further so that you can deliver meaningful results through an interface like a chatbot. So our approach is we are not going to build Vision AI from scratch. Instead, in this series, we will use existing technologies to streamline the processes, automate the capturing and reading of documents, store the results in a live database, connect it all to a chatbot for seamless user inter interaction. Now, this setup is designed to scale effortlessly, handling thousands of thousands of documents with ease. So let's dive in and see how we are going to get it done. Let's start by visualizing a simple cross-platform application that works on both mobile devices and as well as the web. Now, the goal of this block series is to help you build this application. And if you follow along with this entire block series, at the end of this series, you'll be able to create it yourself. Using this interface, this application will allow users to upload an image and later ask questions about it. However, keep in mind, we also need to address handling thousands of images or text documents. For example, purchase order, invoices, vouchers, or expense sheets uploaded in a bulk to a drive. And eventually we need to store all of these documents into some sort of a database. Our final goal is to build an application where users can manually upload an image and ask questions about it, while also managing batch uploads in the background. So the user experience in this entire product lifecycle should be seamless within the app or in the chat dot, serving as the primary way user can interact with the system. Now that we have a clear vision of the desired user interface and experience for our OCR Vision AI app, we also have a broad understanding of the functionalities to be implemented. It's time to propose a solution design. The goal of this exercise is to create a system that meets the following objectives. Seamless user inter interaction, batch automation for high volume, open source or API based flexibility, including quality assurance mechanism, fully automated workflows, and scalable architecture and enterprise standard. Now that we are clear about the business requirement, user interface and user experience, let's dive into the proposed tech solution architecture. On your screen, you will see a high level diagram of the architecture, what we are going to be discussing today. Each component here plays a crucial role and understanding how they fit together is the key. We are going to break this down step by step, starting with the file drop functionality, now in step number one, file drop, what happens here? 
So this is the component it is designed to detect when a file is uploaded. So if you are on a Windows environment, we can use the W script to monitor this upload. Or if you are working on Linux environment, a cron job will handle this task. Now, as soon as this file is detected, the system is going to trigger a Vision AI OCR to process and extract this content. That brings us to step number two. Now, step number two, OCR engine makes sense of these files. So here, as you can see, we have five different options for OCR processing. The goal is to use affordable on-premises tools like Tesseract and PyBDF whenever possible because those are the free open source technologies. Now, if the file is too complex and these two tools cannot handle it, then we are going to switch to more advanced options like using Oracle Vision AI or Azure AI services or perhaps Llama 3.2 or 3.3 vision models. The key here is the flexibility in design so that we can keep our costs low while staying ready to adopt newer, better solutions as they emerge. Step number three is for designing quality control engine. Now, in step three QC engine, it helps us decide the best tool for the job. The quality control engine evaluates which OCR service to use. So initially, we are going to use tools like Olalama for simple decision making. And over the time, we are going to enhance this functionality with advanced frameworks like AI agent frameworks such as Crew AI, Swarms or Langchain for more intelligent document processing. In step number four, data storage. So where are all these results are going to go? So the extracted data from Vision AI and agents will be stored in two types of databases. First is the relational database like Postgres, vector database or any other SQL-like database. And second will go into some kind of vector database like ChromaDB or Pinecone or maybe Fios. So we are going to choose based on the project needs and budget constraints so that we can ensure the efficiency and scalability over the long term. So finally, in step number five, we are going to design a chatbot interface for accessing the insights. So in this step, we are going to create a simple chatbot application that will allow users to query both the SQL and the vector database to retrieve the results. So at this point, you might be thinking why we spend time discussing this architecture. Because end of the day, we want to design a scalable, flexible and cost effective, a solid foundation for the future growth for our application. This is that's all I wanted to cover in this video today. So in next videos, enough with the theory, we are going to start building this component step by step. So remember, a well thought design is half the work done. And that's what we did achieve in this video today. So stay tuned for more videos and more insights. Thank you.